Y'all, it is December 20th. I cannot even believe how fast this month has flown by. December 20th already. Yesterday was 15 years since my sweet, sweet grandpa went to heaven. So I, that is crazy. He died four months after Jackson was born, so he never got to meet him. But we flew down to Texas for his funeral, and he did meet him. You know, he was at his funeral, but he was the best. I had the best grandparents there in heaven. I can't wait to meet him one day, but he would be 100 years old, which is crazy. Um, anyway, welcome back. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today is the 20th already. It is Wednesday. I need to put some chapstick on my lips. Um, I did get myself ready, but I forgot to do that. Um, we're actually have kind of a list of things I want to get done around the house, which I'll share with you later. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to get them all done. I do need to edit a bit, a big video tonight, but first things first, I have to do something that I absolutely hate doing. And that is going to upgrade my phone, the phone store and the car dealership are my like as an adult, like two of my least favorite things to do. So usually I'll just have Mary do that, but it's my phone. It's time for me to upgrade. They've already upgraded theirs. I gotta go do mine. Um, also my sister, my niece, we're gonna meet them there cause they're on our phone plan. So I'm just hoping this doesn't take three hours, two hours, like it usually does. So I'm really hoping I've already backed my phone up and everything. So hopefully it will be smooth and quick. Um, then I'm gonna have to run to the store and grab a few last minute things. I keep saying that like every day, I'm trying to grab a few last minute things, but then I think of a few more things and I kind of want to, I'm kind of like wanting to be over prepared rather than needing something. I just don't want to go back. Like the closer it gets to Christmas, you know, I want to stay away from the stores. I did get my last delivery today of, of things that I ordered online. So I have a box of gifts I need to wrap and then I'm done other than stocking stuffers with the wrapping. So that feels really good to have something is squeaking to have that already finished. Um, but I enjoy wrapping, but it's still, it's a chore and I'm um, check that off my list. So we're going to go to the phone store when I get home. Hopefully I can do some cleaning. I have a sink full of dishes. I have not cooked dinner the last couple nights. We've been busy doing stuff and those are just like dishes that have piled up. You know, I need to do all the regular cleaning and I need to do um, some editing and then a few, hopefully I will have time for the other things on my list. All right, we just left the phone store. <laughs> we were there for almost three hours. I knew that was gonna be, it's gonna take forever. We had an amazing, very knowledgeable salesperson and that was very nice. Whoa, <laughs> it went totally dark. Um, but it just took forever, but it's my new phone. I got it like, it's like light pink. I got a little glittery otter box. So that is done. Got that checked off. But Mary and I are gonna head over to Target and grab a few things, a few groceries. I'm gonna get home in time to make dinner probably, but I do still have some things I wanna get done at the house today. So hopefully I'll feel motivated when I get home. All right, we're home from Target, and I just did a little grocery haul. Picked up a few things that, because Jackson's home for winter break, and I'm just needing some easy foods he can throw in the air fryer or whatever. So I got some teriyaki sauce and some chicken. He loves that. Got some hamburger buns, hot dog buns, spaghetti, um, some chicken patties, pizza rolls, and hot dogs. And actually, I was going to make tonight, I've been defrosting some meat. I was going to make a... It's called pot roast casserole. I've made it before. I've shared it, but it's, it's, it's involved and it is almost, it's five o'clock. <laughs> we spent so long at the phone store. So I think I'm just going to make these, throw them in the oven. Let's see. How many do you get? I don't know how many there is in here, but we'll make some for us and then Jackson can have the leftovers, but that'll be easy for dinner. And we'll have this tomorrow night. I'm going to make spaghetti tomorrow after babysitting. It's going to be a long day so I like to have something easy to make for dinner when I have paisley so we'll just make this tomorrow night. Do you want to go outside? Oh everybody needs to eat, everybody needs to go outside.
So that's my quick and easy dinner. Chicken patty with tomato and cheese. Still eating on this leftover hash brown casserole from the other day, but I think after today, it is gonna go in the trash. We've eaten a lot of it. So a couple of things I wanted to get done today was to sew my ottoman cover. So I took the old cover off. I just need to bring up my sewing machine and hope that it doesn't have give me any issues. And I'm going to make it a lot easier than the last time I made it. I'm just going to lay it over the top and then just sew the four corners. I think it should be pretty simple. As long as my sewing machine doesn't mess up, that will be quick and simple. But it usually isn't when I'm sewing because <laughs> I'm not the best. But I'm going to try. And also this little clay paw was made for of Claire's foot when she died um, the day she died our vet said that they could uh, do one of these for us so they did her little paw which actually looks huge her paw didn't look that huge but um, I'm supposed to bake it and today is actually four weeks since we lost my sweet Claire and you're supposed to do this it says right there it says four weeks um, for best results so I need to bake this but I need to like trim it and before I bake it and I just I've kind of just emotionally been not been ready for it so I've been putting it off and I have to do this if I want to you know have it have it be like it's supposed to. So I have to preheat to 275 it may still be kind of warm because I had it on earlier but hopefully it's not I don't think it's that hot yet.
I'm gonna put the instructions, I'm gonna keep these in case I ever wanna paint it. It tells me how, but this is a little um, box that I picked up, a little memory box I picked up with some of Claire's things, her little syringe and her, the rest of her pills, her sweet little collar. And then um, we had made a little print of her little paws one day. So I put those in there. I hear you, my Chloe. Just keeping them in this little keepsake box. And then my, and I'll put that ornament in here or I'll, I'll use it on the tree or I'll put it in there. And then my vet sent me the sweetest little card, just a little sympathy card. And I just thought it was so sweet. I hear you, Chloe. So I'm gonna keep all this together. This isn't gonna fit, but I'm gonna just fold it in half. But it just makes me feel better to have a little, little box with all her little special things. I'll put her little name on it and it's my little keepsake for my sweet Claire Bear. I know, I hear you, Coco. Cool, cool. <laughs> like Chloe knows. She knows when I need her. She's like the most empathetic cat. When you're upset, she knows. She knows and she'll just come find you. It's the sweetest, sweetest thing. My Chloe's such a sweetheart. Yeah. Can you say hi? She's so sweet. All right, this is the fabric I got. It matches that chair that I got so perfectly. I got it at Hobby Lobby um, a while back, and I only got it a um, yard and a half. I probably needed to get two, but we're gonna make it work. So the other cover I had didn't go all the way to the floor, so this one won't either, but since it's big enough to drape over it, I'm just gonna cut the corners. Actually, I'm gonna flip it over to the inside. I think they're both the same. Um, cut the corners and pin them and then I'll just come in with my sewing machine and just have to do four lines all the way across and this is kind of like the finished edge that will be along the bottom. I'm just going to make sure that it's even all the way around and then I can cut it and I may decide to paint the legs. I'm not sure. I painted them this like off-white color to match the other the other um, couch that I had, but the new rocker and the legs of my new couch are really dark, like almost black, so I will probably will paint these as well at, at some point. I guess I'm probably going to also have to go along this edge because this edge is not finished. <laughs> film that that was just like the most frustrating thing every time I pull out my sewing machine it's like an hour later it was four little lines I should not have it should not have taken that long I think I had to thread it about five times I had to re-thread it until I got like a the tension right because it kept snapping the thread and my light bulb has blown out so I have to like get my iPhone and my eye it, it, it was awful so and then at my bobbin finally when I got everything working my bobbin ran out and I cannot get the white one like threaded right. So I do use a black bobbin, so I can't um, hem the two sides because it's black. I need to go buy some more white bobbins and then I can hem the side. So for tonight, it's gonna have two sides that are a little bit longer and not hemmed, but hopefully the corners worked.
is not perfect, but I think it looks a lot better. And it was actually so much easier than the other time, the other one I made. Um, and I like that it matches. If you could see it in person, these are very, very close in color. So um, I'll, I'll sew the seams whenever I get another white bobbin, but I like to always clean the couches and clean the rug really good. Like the night before Paisley comes because she's crawling around now on the rug and I just want to make sure there's no like animal hair or anything, but I, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, what time is it? It's after eight o'clock. Um, Claire's little ornament is done and when it baked, it like kind of took out a little, all the kind of like rough edges. I'll show you what it looks like. I think it's pretty much cooled off. So like when I carved her name, there was some little jagged edges, but it pretty much smoothed all those out. I love the way it turned out. So I may eventually paint it, I'm not sure. And I went ahead and put the hole in the top just in case I wanted to put a ribbon through and use it as an ornament, but I may not. Um, I need to let it completely, completely cool so that it's nice and sturdy and won't break or anything. But definitely this was an emotional thing for me and I wasn't sure, I was just not ready to do it, but I'm glad I did it. I'm gonna go ahead and let it like sit overnight before I decide what I'm gonna do with it. So I think I'm gonna head downstairs and wrap those last few presents that came in the mail today and then I need to edit. So um, I'll finish wrapping and then I'll go ahead and close out the video, but I think, I think that should be it. I think I'm gonna be done with wrapping. It is December 20th, but. Drive along in December rain that play my favorite song. I see a snowflake melt on the deck. I'm awful cold and longing for the holiday. Counting days until you're here. I've been waiting this whole year. Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night. I know you may suffer light, but together we're All the peasants I for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting all night, all night Wish upon a starlight, starlight I sleep under the mistletoe Wake me up with a kiss on my nose It feels so magical, yeah look Where we were small Someone's been here and there the stock is wrong Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may suffer like But together wrapping is done I have all these like scraps and then these are not very long they're not going to be able to wrap anything so I'm going to use all those for stocking stuffers and then still have a couple of these left Marion needed some wrapping paper too so that is all for that but everything is wrapped for me everything is done thank you for coming back I always appreciate all of your support coming back and watching these vlogmas videos um you know just regular everyday life hopefully it motivates you or makes you feel like you have a friend hopefully relatable videos um that is always my goal is to put out relatable you know real videos i'm a real person hopefully you can relate so i'll see you all in my next video which will be my baking and it'll be my last video it'll be coming out actually for you i think it should be coming out tomorrow it should be coming out on christmas eve so be looking for that but i love y'all and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye